For this lab, it is a very basic introduction to resistors and um, LEDs and light bulbs. Um, you've got your resistor here, you've got your LED here, you've got your light bulb. You are given a circuit diagram that we would hope you can follow, but if you can't, that's okay. Just ask your TA for help. Um, so you have your current measure, which is going to look like this. It's labeled A on your circuit diagram. Um, you want to put the red to red and the black to your DC positive input. Um, you then want to put the red part, uh, red side of your circuit um, current into the positive side of your circuit board. Um, then you have your DC power, which is labeled as a circle with the DC next to it. Um, you, they say go negative. I'm going to short my negative to the ground for this one because sometimes we've been having trouble with um, the negative just going straight. But you can go straight from negative to the negative here on this board. And then it's internally connected to here between pin J2 and pin 35. So you don't need to put a wire there necessarily. And then I'm going to go 35 to 3 for the resistor. Um, across the resistor, we have our voltage probe, which will have alligator clips like this. I'm going to put one on top there. I'm going to put one on top here. And then final wire that you need to connect is between pin 1 and pin 2. Um, and then that should complete your circuit. One important feature of using these power supplies is you always want to have the voltage and current all the way down before you turn it on. Um, that's not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily going to kill you in this situation because it's pretty low voltage and pretty low current. But if you came to a high voltage source and you just flipped the switch and it was up wicked high, um, that could damage your electronics. And similarly, if you have a high power output, so that's power is current times voltage, and you had that high power and you just flipped the switch to off without looking at it, then the shortest path to ground could be between your hand that's flipping the switch and the ground, which would travel past your heart. So we try not to do that. It's just good safety practice. Um, when you use your power supply, try to never keep it too high for too long. Um, you want to turn it off between uh, measurements. Um, and you only want to go up to four volts. Um, and once you're over three volts, you want to be careful um, to not leave it up there too long. Um, if you start to smell something burning, um, you should turn it off very quickly and let everything cool down. And if you touch your resistor and it's warm, then that's also another good way to tell that you need to let it cool down. So looking at the LED, uh, one way to check to make sure your circuit's actually working is if your LED or light bulb will turn on. Um, if you are playing with your circuit and you try and turn on the LED and the LED is just not turning on and you're at a super high current and a super high voltage, um, as shown by your um, power supply here. Um, one thing you can try is switching these wires. Um, LEDs are unidirectional um, and you will understand more about that once you get to diodes um, because LED stands for light emitting diode. Um, but you should know that that is a great thing to try if your LED is not turning on. So now it is.